Hey, good morning, Summit. This is Edward. You know, this is Scott Jake. This is your weekly update. And make sure you share this on all your platforms. At least talk about it. Get the word out what's going on. Hey, they don't know this, but this is take two. Take two. Take two. We normally... I royally, royally messed up. We normally do this in one take. And... We had to start over. Yeah, most people think we rehearsed this. Like, I, it's I messed not. up big time. Hey, real quick, let me let me go back to what I shared with you last Sunday and last week in the update video. Uh, this whole year is a, is a year of story. What is your story? And so I've been asking, would you send me your story? And I clarified this last Sunday. I'm not looking for a book. I'm not looking for page after page after page. Here's what I'm looking for. One, two, maybe three sentences. What has God done in your journey over the last month, two years, five years, 10 years? What does Summit Heights mean to you? How have you grown? We want to share those stories. We're building a, a platform of how to share those and uh, appreciate you guys that sent those to me this last week. Got about five in this last nice. week and that's, that's good. Uh, looking for that's good. more because uh, I know God's up to stuff. I know he's doing stuff in your lives. I know some of you have never talked about it. This is an easy way just to write down two or three sentences to share that we may declare your goodness to the next generation, uh, praise you, and keep lifting those up to what God is doing. So really excited about that. Send those to me, Edward, at summitheightsfellowship.com. Send those to me. Jake, I know we got a lot going on. We do. This Sunday, you want to talk about what's happening this Sunday? Yeah, we're going to spotlight and we're going to... uh, celebrate and we're going to appreciate every one of our volunteers yeah all of you and whether you're working in children youth worship sound first impressions making coffee working behind the scenes uh fixing toilets uh painting walls i mean if you have volunteered we're gonna First impressions, We're gonna teams, celebrate. All, celebrate. all the stuff that yeah. goes on, preschool, yeah. nursery, uh, and just, could not do it without and you. And just kind of talk about that heart. What, yeah. Like what I did there. That's a good plug. Right there. Good plug. Good plug. Heart. Y'all yeah. remember that key word for this week? Heart. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, we're also putting together when the weather gets a little bit nicer. Had we known the weather was going to be like spring like in January, uh, we probably could probably have done, would have done it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, but um, we are putting together a volunteer appreciation um kind of a luncheon gathering, a gathering. after Sunday it's an um, at church. And so we're putting that together. We're going to wait till the weather gets a little bit nicer while we families can be outside and we can enjoy some fellowship and time together. And just to celebrate you guys, can I say enough about what you guys do from feeding people to oh, yeah. loving on people, too. Yeah. all the stuff that goes on, man. It's just, a, it's crazy. Yeah. Prayer teams. And uh, we love you and we want to celebrate you because we could not do it without just family. Faithful volunteers in our in our ministry. So, which brings up also this Sunday, we have a new members class membership this Sunday after the service in room A one hundred and one. Drop in, learn about our statements, our strategy, our structure, our vision, why we do what we do, what are we about, uh, what is God doing at Summit, what was God's vision almost almost what nineteen years ago? Yeah, uh, when He planted this church and you just learn everything about us and then you can inquire about membership it's good also the women facing cancer together meet after the service uh this sunday this sunday, this sunday. yeah they meet today if this is your yeah. on sunday they meet in generations membership meets in a 101 so we got that going on and then on the 29th, 29th we're going to be relaunching small groups many of you have questions about small groups they'll all get answered on <laughs> sunday We'll have yeah, like all questions. Oh yeah, every single you one. Of answer them. every single every, question. It's, it's typically a long service because I answer every single question. That's going to be incredible. every single yes, every I've been single around question. Eight, 10 years and I've still got questions. Every work they're going to be answered on the 29th. Every uh, question we'll have yes, we'll have a, an informational wow. card for you to fill out if you want to look and inquire about joining a small group. You'll turn that in at the end of the service. Uh, We'll be launching our Sunday after church groups, gatherings where we connect people. Okay, that'll be in February. It's really, really cool, man. So here's my question, because you've never answered it, and you're going to answer this this coming Sunday, the 29th. I'll answer it now if you want. Like, did Adam and Eve have a belly button? They did not. Did the dinosaurs come before Adam and Eve or after? After. Okay. Yeah. And then we have the acoustic. Acoustical. Night of Worship. Acoustical. That was the word On the 29th, 
Five o'clock to six o'clock. You, you made that word up, acoustical, last time we In did generations. This. Uh, you're like George Bush. Going to be awesome. Making up words. And then if you have a student, sixth through twelfth grade, you, Disciple need to, now. you need to get them signed up for Disciple Now. Yeah. All right. You need to contact David Bright. You need to get them signed up for Disciple Now weekend, which is February the 17th through the 19th. Great band coming in, great that's, speaker I, coming and in. That's area wide. That's churches. Yeah, we've together. got like four or five yeah. churches that are going to join us this year. So it's going to be really, really cool. Mm-hmm. I love and, it. And we've been doing that for several years, just yeah. area churches coming together. And what a testimony to our kids and to Hawkins and oh. Big Sandy and all the area schools that we I like it. in Mineola. I think yeah. there's churches out of Mineola that come to this and maybe Winsboro equipment. I'm not real sure. Uh, but there's a lot of churches that gather. Great testimony for our community. And then Kid Venture this Wednesday night will be the third through fifth grade. So mm-hmm. got those rolling again for our Kid Venture kids. So a lot of stuff happening. I like it, man. I like it. God's busy. Amen. We're busy. Oh, I think Brett Marr just missed another extra point. So <laughs> it's good, hey, man. Hey, send us your stories. Uh, we'd love to hear what God's doing, what Summit Hots means to you as we celebrate uh, that people are coming to Summit, the new people are coming. I asked you a question two weeks ago. I'm going to review it this Sunday. Who are you praying for that's going to be saved this month? Who are you praying for that that you're inviting to Summit Heights uh, in the next few weeks? Uh, listen, this is your church. You want it to grow? It's up to you. I've been praying for your dog when y'all was gone for Danielle's birthday. Yeah. And that dude, something ain't right with him. No, that's true, but... Anyway, Summit, we love you. Hope you have a great weekend. Can't wait to see you Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Make sure you share all these. Got any questions? Email Jake. Call Jake. Uh, he can answer. He's going to answer all of our questions anyway on the 29th. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be great. Uh, that'd be a great day to bring a lot of people because he's going to answer all of our questions. We love you, Summit. Have a great weekend.